Okay, this young lady has a red mark on her forehead that we're going to try and get out with zit cream. And no, it is not actually a zit. It is a red mark. I believe it was probably done with some kind of highlighter from the looks of it. There, the reason the zit cream works is that there's benzoyl peroxide in it. So essentially what we're doing is we're bleaching out the color that shouldn't be there. There's benzoyl peroxide in different concentrations. If you live in Canada, like me, uh, we can only get it at a 5% concentration. If you live in the States, you can get a 10% concentration. Thank you, my friends in the States who sent me some. Okay, be careful with them because of course, the more the concentrate, the stronger it's going to be. What you're going to do is you're going to combine the zit cream and light and heat. A lot of people put the zit cream on, cover the kid's face in saran wrap and then stick them outside in the sun or put them in their car in the front dashboard. Uh, I'm a museum person Sunlight scares me. It's very, very strong. And although it takes repeated exposure, I don't like putting things in the sun that I don't want to sun bleach. It's just the thing. So I have decided in order to be able to control the exposure better that I'm going to use an interior system. This also works well in Canada because there are months of the year that we don't have enough sun that's bright enough to accomplish squat. So if we want to treat any kids in the winter, we have to have an alternative solution. This is my alternative solution. It's called a lamp. In that lamp, there is a light bulb that is an older light bulb that creates heat. Now this one looks like a fluorescent. It's an older fluorescent. It creates heat. That's the trick. You cannot use an LED light or any kind of light bulb that does not create heat. So if you have a package of the old light bulbs, the old clear ones that, you know, suck up all the power, those are great. And you're going to leave them on for hours and hours and hours and hours. So if you're an eco-friendly person, this is not for you. <laughs> Although heat in your light bulb is a good thing, you don't want too much heat. So although an LED light bulb will not work because it doesn't produce enough, you don't want to use things like halogen light bulbs or anything like that. An old-fashioned one or a regular fluorescent that creates heat is fine, but don't go for halogens or anything that creates an excessive amount of heat. Those can actually damage them, especially since you're putting it so close to their face. So, to put the zit cream on, this is not rocket science. You can use your finger, you can use a cotton swab. Um, I've got Q-tips here, so if you want to put it in a very small, specific spot, you can use a Q-tip. You just squirt it on, make sure it's covering the whole area. That's it. That's all you got to do. Now, I have some left on my finger. She has some on her head. This stuff has bleach in it. As I learned the hard way, if you then wipe it on your pants, you will destroy your clothing. <laughs> it will also bleach their hair, so be careful that you don't get it in their hair. And... For them as well, I would suggest you not do this with their clothing on because, again, you hate the chance of bleaching their clothing. So I always have Kleenex nearby so I can wipe my finger off because I say I already destroyed a bunch of my own clothes before I found that out. So, zit cream on, lamp focused, that's it. She's going to sit under that lamp for three to four hours. Most of my treatments are three to four hours at a time. Uh, the four hour mark, take her out, wipe it off, look at it. If it needs some more, put her back under the lamp. Do keep in mind, however, that sometimes the zit cream will continue to work after you've removed it. So if there's only a little, little bit left, give the kid a day or two and see if it goes away on its own. What you don't want to do is over bleach, especially on kids who have dark complexions, because you will actually create a clearer or a lighter spot within their face. Uh, you don't want to do that. If you see that developing, stop or try to be more specific with where you're putting your zit cream. Uh, the other thing that sometimes will help with that is vinyl restore. So once you've treated your kid, 
with the zit cream or in between zit cream treatments, you might also want to use a vinyl restorer on her to help remove some of that uh, other discoloration. Pox are not a disease. They are not mold. They do not spread. They can be caused by environmental problems. Some kids just react to a different environment by developing pox. It's the worst for P factory, SS factory, and PMI factory. So keep, in, keep that in mind when you're buying kids. Ask about their pox. If you can treat them, great. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. With other marks on their face, pen, marker, highlighter, uh, just about anything, zit cream will take them out. Occasionally it doesn't work or it doesn't work the whole way. Sometimes you have to treat them for a week. Sometimes it'll happen overnight. It just really depends on what it was, how long it was there, how deep it is, the color. Um, never assume that the zit cream will work, but never assume that it won't. <laughs>